Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006, folks. This is game number two of our doubleheader tonight. Number 12, Southern Utah traveling to take on the Northeastern Huskies. Let me just get this stream all set up here and shared in the Discord and we will get it popping. All right, let's get it. All right. Tyler Rocky in the chat. Received 23. The Demon 166. What's going on, man? All right. Don't forget to slap that like button. As always, subscribe if you're new. We're just going to get straight into this game. And it is going to be glorious. Let's do it. First, hold on. What happened in these games? What happened? New Mexico rolls number 21 Akron 34 to 3 and Prairie View A&M beats Princeton 33 to 13. Princeton is the number one Ivy League school right now. Obviously the Ivy League is the big east in this series. All right, let's see what their home uniform looks like. All black, so you know we're going to go all white. Let's get it. Oh, that's sexy. Oh, we don't want to go Utah's playbook. Get out of here. Get out of here. So the Utah switched to the Northwestern playbook this season. Let's go. Chaos driven in the chat. Bird's going to win. <laughs> Let's do it. Top players, Brandon Lee, Adam Joseph, and Jericho Stevens for Southern Utah. Quick Carter and Horton for Northeastern. Marvin Joseph in the chat. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Let's do it. Ricky Productions in the chat. What's going on, Noah? All right, we're going to receive it first, so let's take a look at the offense. Thunderbirds led by sophomore quarterback Nicholas Hall. He's number two this season. Freshman quarterback Alex Dar. He will get some playing time at receiver. Junior halfback Cameron Matthews. And freshman halfback Harris Gurley, who gets the nod as the starting halfback tonight for the Thunderbirds. Junior fullback Brandon Lee. Junior wide receivers Jaquan Freeman, number one, and Prince McCutcheon, number four. And right guard Brandon Red, number 72 for Southern Utah's offense. Those, of course, are all subscriber players. Wasn't Southern Utah nearly unstoppable last season? Yes, they were for most of the season. Yes. Here's Jaquan Freeman. Nice return. Tyler Steinhaus. What's going on, Tyler? Don't know if I've seen you in the chat before, but welcome. Hopefully you're enjoying the content, my friend. Nicholas Hall under center. Harris Gurley, the freshman, is going to get his first career carry right here. And a nice spin move. And he gets about five or six yards. All right, this is definitely, it's a different playbook for me. I have not used this playbook yet. So it's going to be a bit of a change for me. And Cameron Matthews breaking a tackle or two. Gets the first down. Let's go. Let's get it. Uh-oh. McCutcheon's wide open. Look out. McCutcheon is gone. Touchdown, Southern Utah, just like that. Offense is looking nasty already. On just the first drive. Oh, my goodness. Nicholas Hall is probably going to be loving that. If he's in the chat. I don't think he's in the chat yet. My goodness, last season he was so frustrated with the offense and the play calling during some of the games. You know, he wanted to open it up, spread it out, and, and get the ball out to his playmakers. And the offense that they were running just didn't allow it. But this season already, I could tell, it's going to be a whole different animal in Cedar City, Utah for the Thunderbirds. 
That juke was disgusting. Uh, yeah. All right, before we get started with the defense here, let's take a look. Thunderbirds defense led by the junior defensive end, Jericho Stevens, number 78. Junior defensive tackle, Adam Joseph, number 66. Middle linebacker, Logan Tyler, he's a junior, number 51. He was a monster last season, over 100 tackles. Junior corner, CJ Moreland, had a really good sophomore season. And freshman, Bill Stevens at free safety gets the start. Sophomore free safety Emmanuel Wise will be in there as well. It is the 3-3-5 defense. And junior strong safety Bryce King, of course. He has been really solid for Southern Utah in this series so far. All right. Let's get it. Uh-oh. Wayne. Nice return. Wayne finally dropped at the 40. Oh my goodness. You don't love to see it. You just don't. That's rough, guys. And a face mask. I really enjoy uh, Northeastern's uniforms, though. Those are really nice. You hope you get at least five sacks this season? I think you did last year. You'll have to go back and check out these uh, the stats for the season as I miss a tackle with you. Feels bad. Yeah, these Northeastern uniforms are pretty slick. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, wow. Northeastern, nice drive already. And Kerry Wayne, who had the big return, is now injured on the play, hurt his chest. Not a good sign for the Huskies. And deep shot right side deflected away by Bryce King. You only have a carry in this game as the backup running back. You're the starting running back. Matthews just gets some formations, that's all. And that is deflected away in quadruple coverage. Tom Schaefer back in the chat. What's going on, brother? What do we got here? Deep shot, right side, incomplete. And Southern Utah gets the stop. Okay, then. Southern Utah is stacked on the defensive line this season. They got, I believe, like four four-star freshman defensive ends in recruiting. Something crazy. I can't remember the exact number, but they are loaded on the defensive front. 7-3 is the score. We get to see the electric, thunderous Thunderbird offense again. And there is McCutcheon, and there's a flag for Clipping. Clipping on the receiving team. After the All right. First and ten from the nine-yard line. Northeastern was good last season. No sleep on them. Absolutely, man. They were really good. Great turnaround season for them. And here is Gurley. He's dropped by the face mask. 15-yarder. And somebody go back and see how many games Northeastern won last season. I think they won like eight or nine. Can't remember the exact number, but they were really good. Get it. Lewis Hall pitches it out. There might be another face mask right there. Gurley picks up nine yards. Man, these all whites are just so, so fine. 
cops just stop somebody speeding into an alleyway next to your house. You gotta love it, man. <laughs> Who want it? Who want it? Nobody want it. Nicholas Hall gonna take off. Nicholas Hall up inside Husky territory. Great run. I have a feeling that uh, every team's passing numbers are gonna just improve this season. Last year was really rough trying to throw the football. Who wants it? Nobody wants it again. Hall, oh boy, that linebacker was a lot faster than I thought he was. Okay, then. Second down and ten. You have yet to see the fullback, Brandon Lee, with the football. He's the all-time leading rusher at Southern Utah. Oh boy. Good pass over the middle, incomplete. Nice play by the Husky linebacker. Brings up third down and ten. A snap for Hall. And he is going to be sacked. Oh my goodness. Gatewood on the sack. Man, those Northeastern uniforms are just fire. I don't usually like the all black uniforms, but those are just nice. Fourth down at 12. Going to have to punt it away now. Is there a blockbuster game in week one? Well, Savannah State, number one in the nation, takes on number seven, Boise State. It's a pretty huge game. All right, let's see here. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Appreciate it if you would do that. It helps the videos get shown and recommended for people not subscribed to the channel. Dar, wide receiver. He is in some formations as a receiver, that is for sure. He's got a really good, uh, really good speed, really good catch rating, I believe. Second down and in inches now for the Huskies. Topsy, what's going on, brother? Good pass left side, and that is incomplete. CJ Moreland on the coverage, and Moreland is injured looking to improve upon his sophomore campaign and this is not a good start for the junior thought Darv's a quarterback he is a quarterback listen man he was an athlete coming out of high school the coach wants him to place a receiver so that's what it's going to be it ain't no guess all right that's what's going to be all right they're down in inches they got a big old fella in motion Feels bad. Oh, boy. Deion Sanders in the carry. What's up? Oh, boy. First down and 10 for the Huskies. It's definitely going to be a little bit of an adjustment for me playing the 3-3-5 with this defense. I'm used to having four linemen in front of Logan Tyler. And that just usually allowed me to wreak havoc on the offensive line. Well, the first down for the Huskies. And CJ Moreland will return. Just a strained shoulder, so that's good news for Southern Utah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nice run for Jones. Please tackle him. Logan Tyler brings him down finally at the 32-yard line. Jones with 32 yards in the game so far. Quarantine and chill. You know it, girl. All right, first down and 10 again. Northeastern having some pretty decent drives so far in this game. Deep shot, and it's caught by Horton. Moreland comes back into the game maybe just a little bit too early from that injury and gives up the big touchdown. 
You hope the coronavirus is over? Yes, I do as well. Bill Stevens also in the coverage there. That was a freshman free safety, number 26. Moreland didn't look like he even saw where the football was. Six play, 92 yard drive for Northeastern. What a drive. All right. Let's get it. Good one, Freeman. Now nah, we're going to down that one. The second cop showed up. They must have the corona. Oh, my goodness. Houseway. <laughs> oh my goodness look at the immediate pressure this feels extremely bad oh Brandon Lee wide open Brandon Lee inside Husky territory what a play by the fullback and a great throw from Nicholas Hall back across the field running away from pressure my goodness outstanding play all right. All two of 304 yards and a touchdown. Not bad. Not bad at all. Henry Matthews gets a carry. He'll pick up four yards up the middle. Offensive line is getting smoked this game. Yeah, it's... it's <laughs> Been a little bit rough. Northeastern's got some uh, some big fellows up front. Look at all those guys. They're huge. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Good pass. Right side, Gurley. Gets his first career reception. Picks up maybe five yards on the right side. Tyler Steinhaus asks, what is your favorite college football team? The Miami Hurricanes, sir. Been watching them since 1995. All right, let's get this first down, shall we? Uh-oh. Freeman's open. Freeman's open. Freeman! Got him! Freeman! Inside the 20-yard line. First down. Let's go, baby. Village just turned into Cornhill. Adam, nobody else knows that joke but me, buddy. <laughs> End of the first quarter. Huskies on top, 10 to 7 over the number 12 ranked Southern Utah Thunderbirds. Gonna take off, just get out of bounds, avoid the hit. They do not have a backup quarterback anymore. Owen Gregory transferred to Sacramento State, I believe. Craniac Gaming in the chat, what's going on, man? You're lurking until after Mania? Okay, okay then. Taking off, possibly. And we'll get a few more yards with Hall. Crazy that 1995 was 25 years ago. It sure is. All right, third down and two. You back? Did I miss you? Oh, uh, absolutely, John. Third down and two from the eight. And Gurley gets his first career touchdown untouched for the Thunderbirds. And he urinates on the goalpost for good measure. Let's go. No, Tom, he doesn't like North Dakota, okay? He likes North Dakota State, okay? Big difference. What's up? No, Owen Black is still on UC Davis, Tyler. Owen Gregory transferred from Southern Utah to Sacramento State. <clears throat> 
They do have Alex Starr as a backup. I did forget about that. He's brand new, but he also plays receiver, so he's kind of a hybrid right now. All right, Johnson on for the kickoff. Get him! Landry misses the tackle, and Wayne breaking another tackle. Oh my goodness. All right, let's try to play some defense. Switch up to the 3-4 here for a second. Huge hit from Logan Tyler. Oh my goodness. Get him a body bag, yeah! Another big hit for Logan Tyler. They just ran straight to him. That's his fourth tackle tonight. Wow. Third down and nine for the Huskies. Tyler is on fire. Look out. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't get the big hit. Come on. First down for Huskies. Come on now. Special teams' his first two games are a little iffy. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. It's all right. We're working it out. We'll get it. Got 148 more games to go this season. Oh, that should have been picked off. Come on, bro. What did Tyler eat? <laughs> he ate the running back for breakfast. That's what happened. All right, let's get it. Second down and 10 now. Deep shot. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And it's incomplete. Nice deflection. Oh, you best believe I had the same face as the guy in the movie. You best believe. <laughs> you cannot do that quote from Karate Kid and not make that stupid face the guy makes. You just can't do it. Pass over the middle to Sanders. He is short of the sticks. Nice stop for Southern Utah's defense. You want to see a snow game? I would love to see a snow game. That'd be fun. Oh, my goodness. And Jaquan Freeman going to have to fair catch this at his own 15-yard line. Nicholas Hall brings the offense back out onto the field. Got one on one coverage, and the free safety comes over and deflects it away. Man, that was just great recovery speed. All right. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, my goodness. Good thing that counted as a pass. <laughs> wow. All right, second down, or third down and 10, rather, from the 15-yard line. A couple bad plays to start off this drive. And that's over the middle to Alex Dar, the backup quarterback, making his first career reception. And it's a big one, 19 yards and a first down for the Thunderbirds. Do players ever get hit during a fair catch, triggering a penalty? Yes, sometimes they do. All right, first down and 10. And here's Gurley getting another carry. Gurley with the speed. Oh, my goodness. Gurley's still going to the 26. Tack on 15 yards for the face mask. 
What a run by the freshman. Let's go. First and 10 now from the 13. Let's go, baby. Let's get it. Let's take off with this one. Nicholas Hall, can he get there? No, down at the one-yard line. They brought the cornerback on the blitz to the right side, and that is exactly where I wanted to scramble out with the quarterback. Didn't quite have the opportunity, though. All right, what do we got here? Gurley again, his second touchdown of the game. A one-yard run off the option. That'll give the Thunderbirds a 20-10 lead now here in the second. Gurley having a pretty good game so far. A little double dip action for the freshman. A couple nice big runs. A huge one down the sideline. Insane. Twenty-one ten here in the second. Doesn't matter how tall he is, Jay. All right. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. You know how it is. What's up? All right, let's get back to defense, shall we? I've been doing a lot of more zone coverage, and it has just been stumping this offense so far since I switched to the zone. And that pass was very nearly a pick six. Yeah, this team is definitely a lot more explosive this season, Noah, for sure. And Logan Tyler, another easy tackle for the junior middle linebacker. Who will most definitely be drafted in the first round of the EFL draft. This one off to Jones, and Jones will have the first down, carrying a couple defenders. Bill Stevens, the freshman safety, makes the tackle. And Jones dropped this time. That is Adam Joseph on the tackle, the junior defensive tackle making the stop. Very good play from him. Doesn't really have any eye-popping stats so far in his career, but he's been very solid for Southern Utah. The pass left side, open is Stewart, and he gets it up to the 40-yard line, makes this third manageable, a third down and one from their own 40-yard line. Hand it off, and Jones is dropped, and he got the first down. Wow, huge hit. Just couldn't stop him short. Play action over the, oh, wide open. Emmanuel Wise gets beat. He is the number two free safety, and it was not man coverage. Zone covers. I'm not sure where the deep safety was supposed to be right there, but he, he was obviously not in his zone. That's right side. Oh, nearly picked off again. That was Bryce King. And there is holding. We're going to accept that. Make it first and 20 from the 31. 
Still first down. Northeastern speed on offense is kind of crazy. Yeah, a little bit. And let's see. Let's get him. Get him. Nice tackle for Jericho Stevens, the junior defensive end. Bring up second down at 17. Let's go ahead and coach up the secondary a little bit here. Go quarters. Don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Really appreciate it if you did. Subscribe if you do. We are getting closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. Nice run brings up third down and five. Right, let's go man coverage on this one. Caught! Oh, John Lane with the catch. First and goal for Northeastern. They're going to go no huddle here. This is a nice 10 play, 80 yard drive. Two minutes off the clock. Nice deflection by Bennett, non subscriber linebacker. Still can't believe that Savannah State got 108 points last year. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that either. <laughs> That was an insane game for sure. Get him. Oh, they get in with 43 seconds left. What a drive from Northeastern. Bennett gets plowed over. 79 subs away from 1K. Yes, sir. We are inching our way even closer. Let's go. He's dotting me up. Yeah, this team is pretty good, guys. They're pretty solid. When you go from winning zero or one game in season one to winning eight or nine the next year, that is that is a really good turnaround, and you're headed in the right direction. But they made a mistake, though. They left us with too much time on the clock. Oh, Prince, come on now. All right, first and 10 from the 19-yard line. On oh, the option. Oh, couldn't pitch it. It's all right. Oh, no huddle here. I know we got three timeouts. Plenty of time. Plenty of time left. And Nicholas Hall in the open field. Can't pitch it at the end, but that's all right. And we will call our first timeout. Don't forget you when the channel gets bigger. How could I forget you guys? You guys make the channel. What are you talking about, man? I would have no channel if it wasn't for you guys. First down at 10 from the 49-yard line. Dar is open, and Dar has it. Breaking a tackle out of bounds at the 25. Okay, Dan, let's go. Quarterback calling out for the pass. Wow, and he makes the catch. That is awesome. Nicholas Hall, a uh, pedestrian, 6 of 9 for 173 yards right now. <laughs> Having a great game. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Gurley saves the touchdown. Come on. Freeman got caught on the back of McBride and couldn't get off him. Not how we wanted the half to end, for sure. That's unfortunate. That's all right. I believe Hall only threw seven or eight interceptions all last season. And 
And that pass is nearly picked off. Bill Stevens almost gets his first career pick. Get him. He passed right side, and that is picked off, and that's Hayden, or Hagen, excuse me, and he gets it up to the 20-yard line, and Brian Hagen is injured. Wow. That's unfortunate. That's the end of the first half. Southern Utah on top, 21-17 over the Northeastern Huskies, and we will be kicking it off to start the third. A couple pretty close games so far in the series in Season 3. And Hagen is right back out on the field on kickoff. And makes the tackle. Way to rebound, buddy. Let's go. I should have played for a field goal. I know, John. I get a little aggressive, buddy. I'm sorry. When you got an offense just full of speed and talent, you've got to try to get him the ball. Please tackle him. Jericho Stevens with the tackle. Jones, 80 yards rushing in this game. Uh oh. Wow, this quarterback is just on fire right now. We cannot get the ball away from these receivers. The NFL draft is two weeks away, uh, I guess. I haven't been excited about the NFL in quite a while. I'm all about college football, man. Alright, let's go. D-line, do something. Get some pressure on him. And Logan Tyler gets there and misses the first attempt. And that brings him down to the second attempt. Blitz some guys now. Alright, so we got man coverage all the way across the board, except for Bill Stevens covering deep mid from his strong safety spot. And that pass should have been picked off by Bryce King. Oh my goodness. NCAA is way better, 100%. Northeastern playing tough, yes sir. They're giving us everything they got right now. Get him. Oh, I missed. Nice play by Bill Stevens, though. The freshman safety. Let's go, baby. Got to bring up fourth and five. They're going to go for it. All right. What do we got here? Fourth down and five. And Moreland deflects it away. Let's go, CJ. How many tackles did Logan Tyler have last season? Uh, he had over 100. I can't remember the exact number. It might have been 108. It's in the Discord if you want to go back and look at S2 stats. Season 2 stats. Alright, let's get Gurley the football again. Nice blocky. Gurley in the open field. Look out. The freshman going for the hat trick. And he will get it. High stepping for his third of the game. Wow, found a lane and just shot out of there like a cannon. Makes it a two-score ball game. And we have an offsides penalty on Northeastern. Oh my goodness. Did I ever play a dynasty with Miami? Uh, I've played many, many dynasties with the Miami Hurricanes. Yes, sir. I played a full dynasty in NCAA football 04 with the Miami Hurricanes. All the way to the end. Twenty-eight seventeen. Thunderbirds on top. Near the third.
Gurley definitely brings something a little bit different than what Cameron Matthews brought at halfback last, the last two seasons. Matthews, more of a balanced back. Doesn't have, you know, top end speed. But Gurley is so explosive so far in this in his freshman campaign. Doing a little bit of 3-4 here on this play. See how it works out for us. Jones dropped for a loss by Bennett. The halfback that good? The fullback will never get the ball? Well, the fullback's not going to get the ball for Southern Utah anymore anyway since they're running Northwestern's offense. And Northwestern doesn't have any eye formation or anything like that. Get him! Tyler misses the tackle. Jones is just having himself a field day. 100 yards on the ground on 16 carries. You can't find Logan Tyler on season 2 stats. Oh, I, I may not have done the tackle leaders for that. I'm sure you can go back and watch one of the uh, off-season streams or whatever. Let's see what his final stats are. Get him! This running back is so good. Alright, second down of three. Why would a fullback get the ball anyway? Listen, Noah. Brandon Lee is the all-time leading rusher. Oh, Bill Stevens! His first career pick for the freshman safety. Let's go, Bill. Wow. But anyways, Brandon Lee is the all-time leading rusher at Southern Utah. Ran for over 1,200 rushing yards last season, I believe. Was an absolute stud. All right, congrats to Bill Stevens getting his first career pick. Uh-oh. Pass left side. Brandon Lee, that's the fullback right there. Look out. And he gets it up inside the 45-yard line of Northeastern. Colts will win a Super Bowl once they get their fullback. <laughs> I don't know about all that. They got to have a quarterback that's not 40 years old. Outside. Yeah, Mr. Highlight, 28 touchdown catches is a record. Early with the reception and almost gets the first down. Take a deep shot here on second and inches. Why not? Triple header? Absolutely not. And Dar gets wrecked by the linebacker. Good effort, though. Cool. Take the first down. And Nicholas Hall up to the 21 yard line before he gets popped. Gurley, seven carries, 132 yards, three touchdowns. Freshman balling out tonight. No way he picked that. Come on. That's unbelievable. Who's Cal Poly playing? We'll find out after this game. What an unbelievable interception. That is just outrageous. You got to love the Heisman cheese, guys. You got to love it.
Come on. Unreal. All right, let's give it off to Matthews now that half the offense is exhausted. And Matthews will pick up four or five yards. Goodness, this offensive line is getting manhandled. Oh, I don't want to see that play again. Come on, man. Stars wide open. That's the freshman quarterback inside Husky territory. Making a name for himself out there. Making some nice catches. Call a timeout? Absolutely not. We saved those. Get that block. Come on, Freeman. Let's go Freeman inside the 25 yard line. Oh boy. Please get a block. Oh my goodness. We tired? <laughs> I know everybody's tired. It's all good. I don't like calling timeouts till the fourth quarter. A lot of players raise their hands to tell their quarterback that they're open. Get that. Okay, Freeman. Coming back for it. Nice little one yard reception, you'd love to see it. Five of six on third downs. And Gurley explodes for his fourth touchdown of the game. Oh my goodness, this freshman is bursting onto the scene tonight. Offense is just so electric right now. <clears throat> See five five with ninety nine speed. <laughs> no. No, sir. Hagen, nice play on kickoff. I can't remember what his speed is. It's like 92, 93, I think. Harris will know if he goes back into his locker room and looks at his player card.
Pass left side. Cooper up to the 20 yard line. Oh, I just outran that entire play. All right, that's the end of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Still a pretty close game. 35-24 with the number 12 Thunderbirds of Southern Utah on top of the Northeastern Huskies. Kansas sucks. <laughs> so hurtful. Why did I just jump? What just happened? Nice stop. Let's go. Noah, what's your wide receiver's name? For Missouri. I can't remember his name, buddy. I was trying to talk about him earlier, but I drew a huge blank. Shabbat Freeman on for the return. And gets it up to the 40-yard line. It's a yard on that carry. He's got 146 yards here tonight. Four touchdowns on just nine carries. Oh, that should have been a catch from McCutcheon. Charles Woodson, best DB ever? I mean, I don't know about ever. Definitely one of the top five cornerbacks of all time. All right, third down. Immediate pressure. And Nicholas Hall has to take off. Gets the first down, but there's a flag for a holding. Joey Lester. Yes, that's his name. Thank you, Noah. So I was talking about Elkhorn State in the uh, first stream of the night. And I could not remember the names of both the receivers. I remembered Kerry Arnold. Could not remember Joey Lester. All right. Third down and 19 after the penalty. And throw it up, and Dar drops this one at the 45-yard line. So we're going to have to punt it away on fourth and 19. Brazil on for the punt. Tackle. On the receiving team. Get him. Adam Joseph gets run over. By the halfback. My goodness. Topsy, don't be blaming the quarterback for dropping a pass now. Come on now. Come on now. He tried. He is a quarterback after all. Uh-oh. This guy is so good. Down Jones, 14 more yards, 142 yards up the gut for the Huskies tonight. That might be the weakness going forward for Southern Utah. 
the middle of that defense. Get him! And that's face mask, of course. Goodness gracious, guys. It's a rough game. Jones all the way inside the 15-yard line. He's up to a buck 79 right now. Wow. Just like Miles Dawkins says, up the gut. Yeah. I I attempted to watch a Miles Dawkins video today. Not even two minutes into it, he did a direct snap, and I, I clicked out of the video, so. <laughs> you don't care if he gets 10 yards of run, as long as the clock's rolling? That's right. I just can't do anything to stop him, man. <laughs> He's just so good. Is Tar the next Ryan Tannehill? He could be. See Alex Dar, quarterback for the Florida Knights in the EFL one day. All right, what do we got here? Pass right side. Wayne has it inside the 15-yard line. And that'll be fourth down. They're going to have to kick a field goal here. Carter, one of one tonight, 27-yarder. This is a 29-yard attempt. And the kick is up and good. Back to a one-score ball game. 35-27. Thunderbirds on top by eight. As that guy wants some social distancing from the fan next to him. Jaquan Freeman. On for the return. And gets it to the 22. All right. Ten less plays for the Thunderbirds, but over 100 more yards than the Huskies. Wow, left guard got blown up. And that was Gatewood. Four tackles tonight for the defensive tackle and one sack. Second down and 11 now. All right, brother. Take it easy. Try to run this clock out. Got a tight end in motion here to the left. Gurley stay in bounds. Gets the first down up to the 35-yard line. He's so fast. Gets another carry. Gurley to the outside. The freshman is gone again. Number five of the game. And that might just put it away for him. Striking the Heisman pose in his collegiate debut. Wow. And Nicholas Hall <laughs> is running down the field with him. Oh my goodness. Absolutely just outrageous right now. Over 200 yards rushing for the freshman. Five touchdowns. Insane. Have yourself a day, sir. It's 
It's going to be nice to see an offense where Nicholas Hall doesn't have to carry the whole team. Get him. Bennett with a stop. This team could be extremely dangerous this season, folks. Watch out for Southern Utah. Pass. Nice catch by Cooper. Lays out for it. Yeah, I'll be on again tomorrow night, John, at 8.30, buddy. Quick pass left side. Stewart. Oh, he gets wrecked by C.J. Borland. Wow. Adam Joseph taking a sweet time getting back to the line of scrimmage. That pass should have been picked off. Davis with the week one by is so not clutch. <laughs> it's alright. You'll be alright, man. Week two will be here before you know it. Alright. Third down and ten from the 36-yard line. And that is swatted away by Logan Tyler. Too easy. I need the extra week of practice. Ouch. <laughs> so hurtful. All right, fourth and ten. They're going to go for it here. Deep shot. And Emmanuel Wise deflects that one away. And we're just going to be able to run this one out. Fans starting to leave now. Cameron Matthews is going to lose four yards on that carry. And they're going to call their final timeout after this play. Mike John, take it easy, buddy. Cameron Matthews getting the off-tackle carry. Cameron Matthews getting in on the action, and he is gone. Southern Utah. Exploding for 48 points here against Northeastern on opening night. Six touchdowns for the running backs tonight. Cameron Matthews gets his first of his junior campaign. Scary good offense? Yes, sir. These guys are going to be really dangerous this season. <clears throat> Get him. This tackle by Young. Almost 600 yards of offense tonight for Southern Utah. Wow. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Pass left side. Wayne has it. And that was double coverage. Only picked up one yard on the play. Those birds are ridiculous. Yes, sir. They're going to go the reverse. That's going to lose them. Six yards and Kendall Horton for the rest of this game, probably. I don't see him coming back with 28 seconds left. Third down and 15. Benson Saavedra. What's going on, Benson? You're new to the chat. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoy this stream. We have two more just like this one tomorrow night with two different schools. 
We have a Discord community. It's in the description below. And I don't know why Northeastern just called the time now. But I hope you join us in the Discord community, Benson. You can get yourself a player in this series. This is a subscriber dynasty. And Japon Freeman is going to fair catch this, and that is going to be the end of game number two tonight. 49-27 is the final. Number 12, Southern Utah explodes in the second half to pull away late in the fourth quarter. And a big-time performance from freshman halfback Harris Gurley. Oh, my goodness. He could not be stopped tonight. Over 200 yards rushing, five touchdowns on the ground. Cameron Matthews contributed to the touchdown on the ground as well. And the Thunderbirds start off the season undefeated. 598 yards of offense. They did give up 401, though. So that could be cause for concern a little bit on the defensive side. But 350 yards rushing, 248 through the air. They did throw a couple picks. One of them was you know, pretty questionable. A little bit of Heisman cheese. Bill Stevens in the chat. Bill, you missed your first career pick, buddy. You got to go back and watch the whole game. And as always, uh, don't forget to slap that like button, folks. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, folks. It's been over three years since we started this channel. Nicholas Hall, 11 of 19, 248 yards, one touchdown, two picks tonight. Sacked twice, long of 66. Harris Gurley, 223 yards, five touchdowns. Hall with 77 yards rushing as well. Matthews with 50 and a touchdown. Three broken tackles to go along with it. Let's see. Alex Dar, the freshman quarterback, led the team in yards and receptions tonight for Southern Utah. Three for 72. And Prince McCutcheon had the touchdown catch of 66 yards. One drop for Dar on third and long. Only one sack allowed here. Two sacks allowed by the offensive line. B.J. Jones got manhandled that left guard. Gatewood was all over him. Logan Tyler with eight tackles. Aaron Bennett, six foot seven, freshman outside linebacker at eight tackles. Hagen with six. Bill Stevens with five. C.J. Moreland at four. Jericho Stevens with three. Emmanuel Lies had two. Adam Joseph two. Bryce King two. And that's it for subscriber players on the defensive side for tackles. No sacks. A couple picks here. Brian Hagan and Bill Stevens, his first of his career. And a bunch of deflections here tonight. No forced fumbles. No blocks, no safeties, no touchdowns. Ryan Johnson, no field goals tonight. Kyle Brazil, two punts, 83 yards. A 67-yard kick return for Prince McCutcheon. And that is it for the stats. Here's the players of the game. Gurley, Hall, and Hagen. McBride, Jones, and Horton for Northeastern. Now, they were ranked 92nd in the nation, but they were definitely not playing like the 92nd ranked team in the country. Our next two games tomorrow night, starting around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is going to be Maine traveling to take on the number four ranked Cal Poly Mustangs. And in game number two, a bit of a rivalry, number 23 Rice traveling to the Fargo Dome to take on the 13th ranked North Dakota State Bison. I will see you guys with those ones tomorrow night. Until then, hope you join the Discord if you haven't already. Slap the like button on the video. HT in the chat, what's going on, buddy? But slap the like button on the video. Subscribe if you are new. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So until tomorrow night, take it easy, guys.